is it like to be a woman? The answer is in simple. A woman is many things, strong to begin with. When I think of what a woman is, how it is to be one, the first thing that comes to my mind is, being a woman is hard. Is it because of the challenges that nature throws at us throughout time? Not certainly. It is the misogynies, the stupid beliefs of our society that women are inferior to the opposite gender that makes me feel that a woman is a hard role to play. It is sad because even in my household and the surroundings I grew up in, the women who are supposed to lead us down the right path are agreeing to these beliefs. They say women should be patient and tolerant. A woman who is docile and listens to others is a good woman. The reason for these beliefs and the impact it causes to the women is not only loss of freedom but also feeling unsafe. This is the major reason for many women these days choosing to be independent. Being dependent on someone isn't wrong, but when it kindles our opinions and our voice, we have no other choice. It isn't late to bring change. The leaders of our society can show people the importance of women empowerment with the authority they hold. But the voice of the people themselves have a scarce mentality. If we overthrow these vague-minded people and take a stand for ourselves, which we do, but in a more optimistic manner, together we can bring change and achieve a free and safe society for women. Hello, I am Mayuka from Sermay. Today is International Women's Day. A woman might be a person who would have faced many challenges to get equal in a society. I have seen many inequalities for gender in my day-to-day -day life. But for some of them, I was not courageous enough to question them. And I awfully regret it today. So from this moment, I hope that I won't hesitate to question such inequalities. Another thing is that every girl or a woman should be self-dependent and confident in her dreams and decisions. I'll take myself as an example. At first I had a long hair and I was going to cut it. Everybody was encouraging me and before cutting my father told that you should be self-dependent self from the moment you cut your hair and cannot blame anybody for doing it. So I was happy. What's the big deal? I thought. And also it's 2020. Who's even going to ask such questions? But I was wrong about that. Some of them told me that they don't like my hair, what I've done to it and all. But it's my hair, my decision, my likings. Why should I depend upon their opinions to live my life? Some of them told me that I look like a boy. And I was really shocked in hearing that from a person in today's world. Now that was just past. Now every boy and every girl have the equal right to cut their hair short or to grow it long. There's no big difference, no, no difference at all. A woman can do anything if she wants and if she tries. And she can be anything if she gets the equal opportunities. Thank you and wishing you all a wonderful International Women's Day. Good morning. I am Arpi Godashi of Class 90. Today, I am going to express my views on how I perceive myself as a woman. Being a woman, in my opinion, means being a valuable member of society. When it comes to patience, women outperform men. Being a woman means being able to be powerful and assertive while also being kind. It means being vulnerable to those we care about without feeling weak for doing so. Above all, it means being unapologetic about who we are, what we desire and what we deserve. Women are just as important in society as men. They are our country's backbone. Women are now working in different fields like defense, engineering, architecture, medicine, etc. We must not limit or try to limit women's role in society to being mother or housewife simply because they are women.
we must remember women leaders contribution and maintain a positive attitude toward women in positions of power women are better now today but they are still far from equal to men i want to become a doctor girls are emotionally strong and caring in nature they connect to their patients girls have a natural tendency to help people and medicine is a profession thank you Namaste. I am Analakshmi Jain. I am a student of class 7th B at KVA First Arthur. This is the life of an average Indian woman. When she is young, she is dependent on her father. When she is married, she is dependent on her husband. When she is old, she is dependent on her son. But I believe that a wife is equal to a husband, a daughter is equal to a son, a sister is equal to a brother not better not worse we are equal therefore i think that we women have the right to choose self independence this is how the world should perceive women's strength so to make up this mentality in the world education of course is one of the major factors but i will not emphasize it right here because we all know the influence of education rather i would like to focus on one of the underlined factors or outcomes of education which is financial independence i strongly suppose that a woman should be financially independent no matter who her husband is who her father is who her son is who her brother is it does not matter a woman should have the control over her finances so to contribute my bit in the spreading of gender equality i have made becoming a teacher one of the major goals in my life so that i would be looking forward in the nourishing of a gender equal society thank you Under me, a woman is someone who is very determined. She knows what she wants. She has a strong willpower and is mentally very strong. You may see a woman that she is incapable a million times, but one day she proved that nothing is impossible. She is a perfect example to the whole world that if you are determined, nothing can stop you. For me, being a girl, I always felt proud. I felt that I was unique and special. Whenever there is a situation that I need to stand up and answer, there is someone saying in, inside me that you are a girl and nothing can stop you, and that feeling always gave me courage to answer. For me, my only ambition and aim in my life is to be a pilot. This is a dream that came to my mind when I was a young girl. Doctor A P J Abdul Kalam said that dream is not something that you see while you sleep. Dream. is something that never lets you sleep just like that my dream of being a pilot never allowed me to sleep for many years and whenever i told someone that i want to be a pilot some felt that i was not serious about it others felt that i am not capable for it and many others discouraged me including my parents they said that this dream of being a pilot was just a fancy dream every child of my age will have they also told that i was not emotionally capable for it which i somewhat agree with them and i decided to change my career path i decided to something else where i felt happy but from the day i decided to change my dream i couldn't sleep anymore my dream of being of being a pilot always lingered in my heart and after many days i decided to pursue my dream and follow my heart be a pilot i decided to change my negatives into positives and be one and work hard and never lose hope to be a pilot now i'm not sure whether i'll be a pilot one day or not but i'm sure about one thing that i will never lose hope i'll keep on trying unless and until i reach my goal because a person who keeps on trying always succeeds thank you women when i hear the word women the first thing which comes into my mind is inequality and but ranaran of class 7b kvfsakam once i saw 
an ad in which a woman was in a car with her hire officer. She was talking about a man who had the same education and did the same work, job as she did, but received a higher salary than her. This always happens that a, a man and a woman doing the same work still get, uh, the woman gets lesser uh, salary than him. Is it that the work done by a woman has lesser value than the same work done by a man? I don't agree with it. Then I got to know that this continues, this inequality continues to all the areas. Sports, politics, our day-to-day -day life, everywhere. There are certain situations where women are pulled back from certain jobs. When we are talking about uh, gender, another thing which comes is marriage. Ladies are said to marry men who are older than them. In my, in my vision, it's wrong. It rarely happens that a woman is married to a man who is younger than or has the same age as her. A girl child from her childhood itself is said to adjust and she should adjust to her death. Inequality starts from family and I am very glad that my family treats me as equal as any boy in the family. People say woman is a mother, a sister, a wife, a daughter, etc. But she can also be a soldier, an astronaut, a scientist, and even more if you let her do. I wish all the women who fights against inequality and the women who inspired me a very wonderful women's day. Proud to be a girl. Thank you. Namaste. I'm Minak Shudabi of 9th A. And I'm so glad that today is Women's Day. Now hear this. Just a few years back, let's say 10 years back, if you had asked the society to define a woman, what do you think would have been the answer? Now women are meant to do household chores. They depend on men. They don't need to express their emotions, feelings or opinions just because it won't be considered. And I think that might be the likely answer that you would have got. Now raise the same question to this generation. Do you think you'll get a similar answer? Well, of course, except to very few, you would have got a completely different answer, right? I would say women are literally the backbone of every society. And I'm proud to say this as a female myself. See, I love astronomy. I love to learn about celestial objects like stars, moons, planets, exoplanets, pulsars, black holes, white dwarfs, and all those things. And my parents do support me. But this isn't the case with every woman in the society. Still, there are people who believe that women should be the one to compromise. But I have the freedom to express my opinions, my feelings. I can follow my dreams and I will. I can be independent and I will. I can be resilient and I will. Let women step out fearlessly, freely. Thank you. <laughs>